So Qualcomm just launched its new mid-range chipset, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3. And I must say, it's an amazing upgrade from the last year, Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. This chipset can outperform some of the new chipset in the market, like the MediaTek Dimensity 8300, High Silicon Gear 9000S, and the Samsung Exynos 1480. This is due to its impressive CPU architecture and faster GPU. I am particularly impressed by its CPU architecture because it features Cortex-X4 core, which is remarkable. I mean, I haven't seen any other chipset in this category to use the Cortex-X4 core. And that's why this chipset is an absolute beast in this category. Plus, you'll be shocked to see how capable this chip really is in terms of AI performance and camera capabilities, which also amazed me. So watch this video till the end, my friends, as I will explain everything in detail, starting from the benchmarks. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 scores impressively in benchmarks. In entry to version 10, it achieves a total score of 1,379,884 points, which is significantly faster from its predecessor. And now, let's break down these scores. The CPU scored 439,983 points. This is due to its awesome CPU architecture, which I will explain shortly. The GPU scored 458,125 points indicating its graphical capabilities are faster and better than its predecessor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. The memory scores 272,782 and the UX scores 196,092, resulting in a total score of 1,379,884 points. These benchmark score showcases how much faster this chipset is in different areas. Both the CPU and GPU perform exceptionally well, but you will be amazed by its AI capabilities. More on that shortly. These into the version 10 benchmark scores are about 22% faster than its predecessor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. Now, let's move on to the Geekbench 6 benchmarks. It achieves a single core score of 1,931 points and a multi core score of 5,121 points. In single core performance, it outperformed the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 by 28%. And in the multi-core scores, it outperformed the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 by 6%, which may seem small, but it's significant. This is all due to its remarkable engineering of this chipset CPU. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 features an exceptional octa-core CPU configuration, including one ultra-fast Prime Cortex X4 core clocked at 2.8 GHz, and it marks the first time that you will ever see a Cortex X4 core in this upper mid-range category, indicating a significant upgrade from last year's Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 Cortex X2 cores. This upgrade is also the main reason that why this chip should outperformed the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 in Geekman 6, as the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 lacks the Cortex X4 core or the Cortex X3 core or the Cortex X2 core. Additionally, this chipset boosts three high performance scores based on Cortex X720 clocked at 2.6 GHz and four power efficiency cores based on Cortex A520 clocked at 1.9 GHz. This architecture is likely to handle everything from heavy games to normal tasks like social media. Moreover, this chipset is based on a TSMC 4nm process node, enhancing power efficiency and using heat production. It also incorporates the latest ARM World 9-A instruction set architecture. And if you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel will be outstanding. Moving on to the GPU, Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 features Adreno 730 GPU. And this GPU is remarkable because it has two execution units, 768 shading units, and a total of 1536 shaders. And this GPU operates at a frequency of 900 MHz. This GPU delivers graphical performance similar to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which is a true and premium flagship chipset. Additionally, this chipset supports Qualcomm version 1.1, OpenCL 2.0 and DirectX 12.1, which are the latest standards and are beneficial for gaming. So the CPU is approximately 15% faster and the GPU is about 45% faster and 5% more efficient than its predecessor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. And yeah, I have reviewed this Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 chipset. If you are interested, then you can check out the video right here. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 boosts a flagship grade memory and storage capabilities, featuring quad-channel LPDDR5 XRAM with a memory frequency of 4200 MHz and can support up to 24 GB of maximum RAM. Additionally, for storage, the chipset offers UFS 4.0 storage technology, enabling lightning fast read and write speeds. Now, the main highlight of this chipset, its AI capabilities. One of the biggest upgrades this year in the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is its AI capabilities. I mean, this chipset can now support all device AI capabilities. With its Qualcomm AI engine, Qualcomm Hexagon NPU, and Qualcomm Sensing Hub, this chipset can support generative AI, including many leading large language models and large vision models. 
with a simple voice or text prompt. Watch as original content comes to life through an on-device image generator or a personal AI assistant. So this chipset is a beast in AI performance. But it's still not on the level of the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 AI performance. Plus, I have reviewed the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 chipset. So if you're interested, then you can check out the video right here. Now, the camera capabilities. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 excels in delivering exceptional camera capabilities. Powered by its state-of-the-art Qualcomm Spectra 18-bit Triple Cognito ISP, this chipset offers advanced capabilities for both photos and videos, including real-time semantic segmentation for both photos and videos of up to 12 layers of processing, which will enhance image quality to the new heights. This chipset can support a maximum camera of up to 200 megapixels. And in terms of video recording, this chipset can record 4K HDR videos at 60 FPS, as well as normal 4K videos at 60 FPS and slow motion videos at 1080 at 240 FPS. It can also record in various HDR formats, such as HDR10, HDR10+, HLG, and Dolby Vision. Additionally, this chipset includes advanced features like Bokeh Engine 2, ProSight, Snapdragon Low Light Vision, Video Super Resolution, Multi-Frame Noise Reduction, and locally motion compensated temporal filtering that enhances its video recording capabilities significantly. For photos, this chipset supports 10-bit HEIF, HCIF, and HEVC video capture, enabling more efficient capture methods. Overall, these features elevate the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 camera capabilities to the new heights, providing users with unparalleled imaging experiences. Plus, 97% of you haven't subscribed to my channel. So if you subscribe to my channel, that will mean the world to me. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 offers impressive display capabilities with support for 4K Ultra HD displays at 60Hz, QHD Plus displays at 144Hz, and Full HD Plus displays at 240Hz, which is insane. Additionally, the chipset supports RECDA 2020 color gamut and 10-bit displays with various HDR formats such as HDR10, HDR10 Plus, and HDR Vivid. The chipset offers maximum external display support of up to 8K at 30Hz and an HP at ultra smooth 240Hz refresh rate. Plus, this chipset can support LTPO panels and really take it to the next level. I mean, at full HD plus resolution, this chipset can adjust its refresh rate from 100 to 240Hz refresh rate, which I would say is amazing. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 offers impressive connectivity features with its Snapdragon X63 5G modem RF system. This modem can support a download speed of up to 4200 to Mbps and upload speed of up to 1600 Mbps, which is good for its class. The chipset also features the Qualcomm FastNet 7800 connectivity system, which is the same modem feature in the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This connectivity system offers Wi-Fi 7 with a peak speed of 5.8 Gbps, which is insane, and features 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz spectral bands with channel bandwidth of 320 to 40, 160, 80, 40 and 20 megahertz. Regarding the Bluetooth, this chipset supports Bluetooth 5.4 and includes features such as Snapdragon Sound Technology Suite, Qualcomm aptX Voice, aptX Lossless, aptX Adaptive, and LE Audio with dual Bluetooth antennas. And that brings me to my final verdict. So there you have it all. It's an amazing chipset for everything like gaming, normal use, photography, videography, and many more. So it's highly recommended. Now, it's up to the smartphone manufacturers to handle it well. I mean, now it's up to them to fully optimize the chipset to harness all of its power and keep it cooler. I mean, most chipset lost their ability when they got hot due to thermal throttling. Plus, the OnePlus are the first smartphone manufacturers to feature this chipset in their mid-range smartphones. And I would say, it performed admirably well in that smartphone, thanks to its paper chamber and some graphite sheets. So yeah, it's an amazing chipset and I highly recommend it as it handles pretty much everything you throw at it. And that brings me to this final line. Snapdragon is the future of all chipsets, from flagships to mid-range to budget chipsets. Because I recently reviewed the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, which is a new flagship chipset, and seeing its capabilities just amazed me. So yeah, this was the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3. If you found this review helpful and useful, please consider subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So, my name is Samza, this is Headstack, and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the MediaTek Dimensity 8300, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.